Well, for about the last 15 years, Suzanne and I have done kind of crisis response work. And um, we've gotten a lot of training and then field experience in sort of counseling people who are coming out of a trauma. What we found is when something happens, people attend appropriately to the humanitarian needs. People need food and water and clothing and shelter and safety. But there are emotional and spiritual things that people are going through during a time of crisis. And so what we did and what we've got the training to do is to fill that gap and kind of provide for that need and, and to train people how to do that. The reason we do it is really because of our faith. You know, we're, we're told that, you know, whatever you do for the least of these, you did for me. We're so fortunate. We have great jobs. We're comfortable. We're in a safe place. So if we've got an opportunity like this to go and help other people to do it, that, that's really what kind of compels us to go. The Polish people have set the bar high for the rest of the world, how to deal with refugees. Um, the Polish people have welcomed the Ukrainians into their homes. There are no refugee camps, despite literally millions of people being on the move. And it's mostly women and children who are vulnerable. So they are in safe places. They are being brought into their homes. And the Polish people have been remarkable. What our training is really is, a lot of it is just recognizing the kinds of issues people are going through and letting them talk about those issues and sort of normalizing the responses. Have you been having trouble sleeping? Have you been having flashbacks? Have you been irritable? You know, not necessarily at, you know, the invasion of Ukraine, but you're yelling at your kids more than you ever did before. You don't understand why. And they go, yeah, yeah, that's, ha well, that's a normal reaction to an abnormal circumstance. And just doing that with people leads to much better recovery time. There's there's medical literature that supports that just normalizing those kind of responses for people is a huge thing. The people of Ukraine really captured my heart because our hearts are there. Um, it's hard to imagine that they're continuing to live like that day after day without a break. Makes you thankful for the relative safety and security we have here. For me, it was really just a reminder, like Suzanne said, to be thankful for the security we have, but also to know just kind of the fragility of it for certain parts of the world. I mean, there's stuff going on everywhere that, and after a short period of time, it gets off the, you know, the front page on the website of the news source, and we sort of forget about it. But that stuff is still going on for these people, and, um, you know, they're still, they're gonna be struggling through this. It's gonna be a long time for them to get back home. And like I said, home isn't gonna be the same whenever that is.